Hey Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for February 2022. So I have already pulled an oracle card for you guys and it is delight. Okay. Um, listen, you guys got a lot going on and I think there, there's a lot of success prosperity and opportunities that are going to come your way but I feel like in order for all that to happen we have to move diligently and we have to move logically consistently method method methodically okay listen yeah. <laughs> we have to move in a way to where we are being very cautious with our steps and making sure our steps are ordered, okay? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Making sure we move in that way. Because you don't want to do things that's going to, br to bring instant gratification. You want a long-term gratification. You want something that's going to be um prosperous not just for right now but over a long period of time and if you do it the right way take the the right steps and allow things to grow and mature over time then it's really going to bring you way more than you could have imagined okay so delight yourself in the process <laughs> Okay, because it is going to be one that is going to end in success if you do. But we'll see. All right, what's going on for Scorpio? I hope I said Scorpio at the beginning, Lord. What's going on for Scorpio? For the month of February. What's going on for my Scorpios for the month of February? Okay. Y'all have a lot going on, okay? And the journey is not going to come with its ups and downs. Uh, what, what, how do I want to say this? It's not going to go without its gains and its losses, okay? And it is, just, it is just a part of the game, okay? Don't be discouraged if you have, like, this type of thing, okay, in the month of February with whatever it is that you're working on. Um, it definitely has to do with money and it definitely has to do with passion. So I believe this is something that, that is work related or cre something creative, cre creative wise, like a business. It could be a business, but it's something that has to do with like entrepreneurship or something creative that is going to be lucrative as far as finances. Cause then you have this ace of, ace of pentacles as well. Okay. Do not get discouraged, really. Don't get discouraged and don't be tempted to do things that's going to bring um, instant gratification because it's not going to last. That's usually what that devil energy is about. It's about like, let me offer you this. And if you take this, this is what you're going to have. But it never lasts because you always want more of what is being offered because it's not something that's uh, substantial or sustaining. Um, and it's definitely going to be like this up and down energy, but go with the flow and just make sure that you're thinking things through before you do it. Uh, you definitely have all the tools in front of you in order to make this work, okay? But make sure, this is a judgment card in reverse, make sure you're making the right decisions, okay? Don't move too quickly, Okay, if it's not, if you feel like you're moving too slow, you're not moving too slow. You're moving just right, okay? It's all about the divine timing. So just take things as they come. It's going to be gains and losses, but that's just a part of the process. 
but whatever it is, like you have the potential to make things work to, for things to come together okay um if there are legal um legal ties that you need to um be worried about just make sure you do it in the right way do it by the book so that way you don't have to worry about it later on And I'm not going to lie, there are going to be some losses. There are going to be some losses. But that's okay. That's a part of the game. When you have losses, there's going to be, there is no like, you just keep losing, keep losing, keep losing. There's That doesn't happen in life. There's a balance always to maintain. So if there's losses, there's going to be gain. Gain. So if there is a loss, there is going to be some type of wisdom and knowledge that you're going to gain from that and going to be able to take it to the next level. So whatever happens, just know that it's a learning process. And that learning process is going to make sure that whatever the next step is, that it's going to be a solid one because you've already learned from the mistakes or the mishaps that's happened prior to that, if that makes sense. You are definitely going to be able to overcome whatever it is. I, I just have a feeling like you're going to be able to come overcome it. So you have this eight of eight of swords. Being in a place and not really being like being in a place feeling like you're stuck, but you're not really being stuck. You're not stuck. Okay. You're in a place of freedom in a place of where you're able to use the tools around you to your best benefit. You have the seven of swords, being at peace with how things are unfolding. Don't be too guarded and don't be too worried. Um, just kind of go with the flow and know that things are progressing no matter how they seem. Even if they seem like they're like, like if there's these lows and highs, like that's okay. I just feel like you'll be fine. See, you have this, this six of wands here. You're going to be successful and there's, you're going to have like the support system around you. Okay. That's going to uplift you. What else is going on for my Scorpios for the month of February? Don't be, don't be afraid of taking chances. Don't be afraid of taking risks. Even if it feels like an emotional one. Even if it feels like you're not thinking straight, you're not. It You could be at the point where you're just like, damn, I don't, I don't know if I'm like doing the right thing, if I'm thinking the right way, if I'm feeling the right way. You could be like definitely second guessing yourself, but don't. Like, things are definitely going to come together for you. They will. And I don't want to keep repeating myself because that's just, like, kind of the gist of the scenario. But anyway, Scorpio, I hope you guys, you know, heed the wording because I'm definitely excited for you guys because you guys have a lot of success coming. You just have to stay the course, yeah? All right, so I will talk to y'all later.